What up? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It's your boy, Sneak T. Today, you guys, we're going to be talking about some critical information on these Air Jordan 3 white cement reimagines, you guys. So give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because you guys are going to want to hear some of this info. And we're just going to talk about this release, man, because it's just... This is the day before the release. The release is tomorrow, March 11th, Saturday, 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, my time on Sneakers App and other retailers. And they're going to retail for 210 bucks. And it's just been a lot going on, you guys. One thing, the first thing I want to talk about is how do you guys feel about JD Sport finish line switching up the raffle system? Because I personally don't like it and i'm gonna talk explain to you guys why i don't like it so i went out to my local jd sports JD Sports. so you guys you might just have to get out there put the footwork in if you really want these they seem pretty easy jd sports i'm at the mall here and yeah man i just don't see a lot of people wanting to go out of their way to do this we got all accustomed to like doing the raffles at home so hopefully this makes it an easy dub for some of you guys out there. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this process and if you think this is going to be an easier cop than just battling bots in our lives. So I'll catch you guys later at the crib. Peace. And in my city, there's only one. One, and it's at the major mall. I'll tell you guys, it's at Mall of America in Minnesota. So I had to travel all the way to Mall of America. It was probably about a 30-minute drive from me. And the thing I didn't like about the in-store scanning the QR code to get the raffle or some locations in other states actually gave you a physical ticket. I just didn't like that it wasn't guaranteed. Like you're asking me to literally go out of my way, physically drive down to your location, do the elements. It's still winter time where I live at. It's still snow out here. So we got to go all the way out of our way to get not even a guaranteed dub. It's not even like a guaranteed dub like Dick Sporting Goods. And speaking of Dick Sporting Goods, I'm gonna get to them in a second. Man. So anyways, JD Sport Finish Line, I really don't like how they switched up the raffle system. Now they did still do online pre-order exclusive access. I believe I did not get exclusive access. I don't really get that many dubs on JD Sport Finish Line, so I don't even have that many points anyway. But, um, so it's kind of like, uh, what do you prefer? Cause you could do the in-store raffle no points necessary but you're going out of your way spending your time and effort or you can stay at home in the comfort of your home and hopefully be able to fight through the apps and the bots and have enough points and get that exclusive access so i can see pros and cons to each of them but honestly i'm leaning more towards the app when it comes to that now i know it gets hectic sometimes you can't get in it's busy but i've had luck with exclusive access on jd sports so i do rock with that and at the end of the day, if you don't get through, you don't get through. You're still at home chilling. No big deal. But to drive down to the store, to go through all of this and not get a guaranteed dub, that sucks. And for the record, I did not hit on the JD Sport finish line raffle. So getting the Dick Sporting Goods. Now, Dick Sporting Goods, that's all cooked. So don't try to rush down to your Dick Sporting Goods to grab a, a raffle in store. Because those actually, at least in my city, there's only four locations. And the one that I chose to go with, by the time I got there, the day wasn't even over and they were already sold out. I was like number 17 on the backup list. Now, there could be some people that catch dubs other places and don't pick up their pair from Dick Sporting Goods. So I would say if you are on that backup list, keep a little bit of faith. Um, and I'm going to explain to you why in just a second. So Dick Sporting Goods usually has been clutch for me. It's with the uh, wristbands, which they didn't do actually. They just put your name on the list, at least where I'm at. So I took an L for them. Now, hopefully you guys have some success with Dick Sporting Goods. Now, don't give up because Dick Sporting Goods does have the raffle on the apps. Hopefully you already knew about that because I want to say it is too late. The raffle is closed and they're going to announce their winners tomorrow. I want to say when the shoes actually drop. So... If you enter Dick Sporting Goods app, there's a lot of hope for that because it's new. And usually when stuff is new, they do hand out dubs, at least in my opinion. That's my experience. When I got on Flex for the first time, I was getting dubs. When I got on Sneakers app for the first time, I was getting dubs. So hopefully, you know, you guys have some luck with the Dick Sporting Goods app reservation. I do like that they are new to the game with that. Hopefully they had a bot protection ready. 
Because we already know what happens when the apps don't be ready for the wave of people and traffic that they get. So we got JD Sport, Dick, uh, Dick Sporting Goods. You know, I did take advantage of those. Both L's across the board so far, at least for in-store for Dick's. Now, make sure you're obviously doing your flex reservations, your Foot Locker, your Champs. And that's it. And I mean, Kids Foot Locker. I don't have Ladies Foot Locker around me, so I didn't do them. But, um, yeah, make sure you're doing your FLX because they are handing out dubs. Your boy was able to secure FLX uh, in-store, actually, reservation. Now, it is a farther out store. It is, like, it's a trip, man. It's a trip for me. But um, this is a must-have cop this year. So, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, FLX has really been dead for me for a while. So, if you guys haven't been hitting on FLX, do not give up just yet. Maybe they've been switching things around for these Air Jordan 3 reimagined. There are a lot of pairs out there. There are a lot of pairs. So I believe if you guys put in the work, you should be able to at least get one dub. I can't remember the last time I did this many raffles on different sites, man. I did Sneaker Politics. I did Undefeated. I did Snipes. Actually, Snipes didn't have any in my location. I'm sorry. I did DTLR. And speaking of DTLR... Your boy was able to cook on the DTLR, man. DTLR has been clutch, yo. Like, DTLR has been clutch for me. If any, if I can contribute the most success I've had in the last, like, six months with releases, man, it has been DTLR, guys. I've hit some dope shoes on there, like Black Canvas 4s. I hit the Yellow Toe Taxi 1s. Um, just recently, I hit the Playoff 13s. And most recently, I hit the UNC 5s, you guys. Check those out if you guys haven't seen that video. Those are a really dope shoe. I definitely see that shoe going up slowly over time. Probably by the end of the year, it's going to be a $300 shoe. So if you can still grab those for the low, I would grab them, to be honest with you. So, yeah. And there have been some restocks on those, too. So don't be so quick to pay a high premium. Just keep your eyes out. Make sure you have the right apps. You're following the right accounts on Twitter. And you guys should be able to catch some dubs this year, man, because there's a lot of stuff coming. And what I feel like is when Jordan pumps out so many shoes in one year, it makes it easier to get dubs, you guys, because the average consumer is not going to, you know, try to grab or at least try. They might try, but, but they're not going to be able to get every shoe that's coming out. There's hundreds of Jordans coming out, sometimes multiple in the same week. So it gets crazy right now. Right now, March is getting a little dry. We do got a few uh, heated shoes coming later on in the year. Or I'm sorry, later on in the month, like those SB Air Jordan 4s. But we're not going to talk about those in this video. We're talking about the Air Jordan 3 Reimagined White Cements. So, yeah, DTLR, man. I hope you guys are not sleeping on them. Let this be your sign to start doing DTLR raffles, man. The thing I like about their raffle is you can pick up to six stores. Six. On Flex, you can only pick three. And I think that's really been a contributor to why I've been having success on DTLR, man. Now, one thing I will say about DTLR, what they definitely need to do is add some type of point system, some type of reward system, and your account needs to be connected. Like, one thing Flex does right is the Flex account and the points, you guys. Like, keep track. Like, if I hit on DTLR and I pick up at a store, like that needs to reflect in my account. Or maybe it does behind the scenes and that's why I keep getting dubs. I don't know. But you guys need a reward system. You guys need a point system ASAP because that's necessary, man. Because I'm going to keep cooking with y'all as long as y'all keep passing out them dubs. So DTLR for sure. Now, if you didn't know, Sneakers app did the sneaker pass today. So drop it in the comments section below if you guys have some luck with the sneaker pass. I didn't even really go for it because more than a double up is not necessary for me. I'm not here for profit. I'm not here for resale. I'm here for personal pairs, you guys. And your boy was able to get secure those two dubs. They are in-store pickups, which I actually prefer. Shipping is cool, but of course, you got to wait. You got to hope you meet the final boss. <laughs> Shout out to Unbreakable Kicks. But yeah, man, you're, you're, it's not always a dub, man, until you have them in hand. It's not a dub until you have them in hand, man. For real, for real. There's some crazy horror stories out there. And I just hope that you guys have good luck. And I hope the shoes land in your lap, man, securely, for sure. So I hope you guys have been doing your footwork, man. Putting in that work to cut these dubs out here. Because they are handing out dubs so far. I'm still actually in the running up for a uh, ship to me option on Champs. So 
I think since a lot of people bought their pairs early, people hit on the shock drop. You know, people been cooking lately on these apps. DTLR handed out a bunch of dubs. So I think there's going to be some decent leftover pairs. Personally, I do think there are going to be some leftover pairs. So don't panic. Don't panic if you guys. And you still got sneakers out tomorrow. You know, you still got other apps and sites to try on release day. So don't get bit by the FOMO bug and be so quick to pay a super high premium. Just think like a month or two ago, people probably pay like five hundred dollars for these shoes and now they're getting closer and closer to re uh, retail on the resale market i don't think they're gonna drop too much to be honest with you i still think they're gonna stay like 50 60 bucks over retail but after the release date you know after those pairs are dried up and people have them and they start rocking them and they get off the pairs they're selling price is gonna start to go up on these so don't panic yet you still got a shot you still got sneakers app tomorrow Still got the other apps and the websites tomorrow. So uh, just stay confident. You guys put that footwork in. And you guys should be able to secure a dub in these Air Jordan 3 White Cement reimagines. And stay tuned because when I do get my pair in hand, I will be doing a review on foot for you guys. I will even compare the elephant print to like the Air Jordan 3 by a red. I don't have all the other OGs like the Black Cements. Need to grab those in the collection and stuff. So um yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you got some info from this drop a like and uh drop a comment below if you guys were able to take a dub on the sneakers pass today and dtlr or any of things in that nature and let me know how that in-store raffle worked out for you for jd sports and finish line because i personally didn't like it i didn't enjoy the experience i thought it was very inconvenient to not get a guaranteed dub so yeah uh, of course there was like chic and other sites out there which i don't have a chic in my area i don't have a shoe palace in my area so if you live in a heavy city if you live in a big city man like obviously la new york chicago even like vegas and houston i'm pretty sure you'll be able to get a retail dub definitely if you expend all of your resources so let me be a testimony to that wishing you guys luck man stay positive out there it's your boy sneak t and may the doves be with you on these Air Jordan 3 white cements because this is definitely my sneaker of the year. My sneaker of the year. Let you decide what sneaker you are giving sneaker of the year. But for me, this is a sneaker of the year. I know it's only March, but I don't care. Unless there's some surprises. Unless something pops up that I don't know about. This is my sneaker of the year, you guys. So subscribe to the channel. It's your boy Sneak T. I'll be back in the next day or two with an on foot detailed 4k review of those air jordan white cement threes and uh yeah man it's your boy sneak t signing out you guys until next time peace